Hi everybody, I am Chad. I am here with my wife Karen and my cousin Mariah. <laughs> Same name as my sister Mariah, so don't get confused. This <laughs> one's my cousin. We're gonna watch a movie called I Can Speak, which has been highly recommended on my channel. I feel bad that I haven't seen it sooner. <laughs> it was actually given to me by June, our good oh, friend. Really? Yeah, June gave me a copy of this movie. It's actually a true story based on a true story. Let's watch the trailer okay. and we'll go from there. Sweet. Okay. So I've seen no. I've seen a documentary about the comfort women. Okay. But it was from a Dutch woman. But it was like yes, the same. Yes. Yeah. Really? It's right. called Fifty Years of Silence, I think. Okay, I've heard of that one. Yeah. Super good. Yeah. So I know a little about the topic. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hang out sometime. There are lots of great places. Can you look at that? Okay. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? She's so cute. Yeah. It's a good trailer, huh? Yeah, he was a chill. <laughs> yeah. You can kind of tell it's going to be sad, but yeah. but you can also see how they do a really good job of mixing comedy in. Yeah, the tone changed really very, quick. Very, very quickly. Yeah, like the yeah. beginning was funny. Yeah, but then you kind of get deep down into it, like, okay, maybe there's more to it that like, we're not seeing. Yeah, like there's a real reason she needs to know English. Yeah, I'm excited to watch it. Me too. I know, me too. Should we jump in? Yeah, let's do okay, it. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> you told me not anymore. <laughs> Like intimidating. Oh no, she's losing her memory. Is anybody there? Who she? Hello? Will? Ah, you got to go. Why? 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 Oh, the 
I am standing here today for those young girls as they avoid responsibility. We are not asking for too much just for you to acknowledge your wrong ways. We are giving you the chance to ask for our forgiveness while we are still alive. I'm sorry. Is that so? Huh? Oh, 
gosh, that's infuriating. She's so cute. Do you speak English? <laughs> of course! <laughs> I think Super heavy. we probably knew going in, but then kind of like the trailer, it starts out very, very light, and you start to think like, okay, like maybe there won't be as much focus mm -hmm. on the comfort like room maybe issue. Maybe it's just kind of a part of the story. Right. I mean, it was not even talked about like at all in the yeah. beginning. I think thinking about it though, it gives it like a nice setup. You get a lot of character development. Like you really yeah. like care for all the characters and you mm -hmm. care for the main grandma. In some ways you get the perspective of like how everybody initially is kind of annoyed of her mm -hmm. and she's just causing problems for everybody. But then when they figure out, they're like, okay. She says that she's worried about everybody. She's mm -hmm. doing these things because she's worried. And two, it's, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of like psychological like distress, right? That she feels the need to make things control. safe. Yeah. yeah. And I think oh, yeah. the, the aspect of control, like, cause the part when it shows the flashback, mm -hmm. she's like, I can't, I can't even choose like if right. I live or die. I mm -hmm. think she had a really like need for controlling because she can now, she can have right. that, which was robbed from her for like her whole childhood. The flashback was brutal. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. That was rough. I was not expecting that. Yeah. And it's one of those things that's necessary, mm -hmm. I think, yeah. and useful to help us understand the magnitude of it, to understand that she was 13, her friend was 13, like. Yeah, they were so little and you're like, oh my gosh, it's like way worse. Yeah. Than what you could have imagined it yeah. would be. Right. It just like makes you feel like, okay, something needs to be done about this. Like, right. Yeah. It's like sickening. When we heard the testimony of the grandma and we heard the testimony of the uh, the Dutch woman, mm -hmm. so yes. we assume it was at least, that also brings it back and you're like, oh my gosh, like, you know, hearing them speak it. Like they're living through right. it again, yeah. which yeah. must have been so painful. I didn't even realize like how many other countries, like how many other women Mm -hmm. that were included in, you know, sexual slavery mm -hmm. by the Japanese army. Yep. Like, I really only thought it was Korean women. No, it's, it was a lot. I think Korea probably had the most, I would mm -hmm. say. But there were other countries too. That's why you'll see other countries who really oppose the rising sun flag right. that you saw them using in the protest because yeah. Because it is offensive, right? It brings yeah. back these brutal, brutal memories. As the evidence, even when she showed her stomach, like that is something she lives with every day. Like that yeah. memory. Right. That was maybe the most impactful part for me because you, you don't know it's coming, right? right. You know, yeah. you kind of knew that happened to her in the flashback, mm -hmm. but then you kind of forget about it for a little bit. And then mm -hmm. she talks about, it, she's like, yeah, this is, I live with this every day. I relive these memories every day and you can't even do something like apologize for right. it. And I think that yeah. like really shows why the apology is so important for the mm -hmm. healing. Seeing that every day and living those experiences, like she literally has never been given any space to like process it or work through it. She couldn't even tell her very best friend. Right. There's literally no space. And I think it's, it's the apology that gives that space. Was that like her mom's? grave or just like a, uh, just like a hill that she was It was hard to tell on. where she was outside somewhere. Like yeah, and she was like, why couldn't you ever tell me? Like I knew that it hurt. That was like her own mother that said that. So I mean, why would she feel comfortable ten like telling anyone else if like her own mother wasn't even you know, yeah, that was really comforting sad. her or like accepting it or, or believing, or you know, believing just, it. Yeah. yeah. Why would anyone like choose to lie about that. Right. These women didn't even want to talk about it for mm. 50 years and then they come out and they're like, oh, you're just like w wanting money from it? Like that doesn't oh, make yeah. any sense. Yeah. yeah, that's an accusation that is like quite common amongst oh, like, you so know, the extreme side confusing. of, you know, the Japanese yeah. that have that because they'll say like, oh, these people are just trying to get attention. They're just yeah. trying to get money. It's like, why? And it's like, like, what are you benefiting from? from? Yeah. yeah, and it's like, well, maybe they just are trying to recover from the trauma of, of mm -hmm. that they've been dealing yeah. with for so long. And I thought it was really sad at the end how she says, like, they're just waiting for me to die. Yeah. And oh, honestly, yes. like, that's mm -hmm. accurate. That's accurate, like, really? which is so sad because I do feel like when I talk about this issue with people or when, when I've talked about it on my channel is that you, you notice a, a big difference in how Germany has handled World War II and how Japan has handled it. 
Yeah. And Germany basically, they just apologize. They just, they are sorry. Mm -hmm. And they acknowledge that it's like wrong, but like on the Japanese side, it's more of like, well, it actually wasn't that bad. Or there's this denialism and there's, you know, there's this recent issue that, like I've talked with you about a lot. I've probably mentioned it to you, mm -hmm. Raya, but just there's this professor at Harvard. He's like technically a white American, but he basically grew up in Japan. He's sponsored by Mitsubishi, a Japanese company. They pay his salary in order for him to be a professor at Harvard. But he wrote, you know, it's a very damaging and a very hurtful article that he published talking about how there's no real evidence these women were forced, that they volunteered. And it's really ridiculous because, I mean, this is the same thing that we're seeing now, you know, all these it's years so after Why would 2007. Why a 13-year-old volunteer for that? How can a 13-year-old yeah, volunteer? Yeah, literally that's not even possible. possible. Right? But that just shows you that that's the battle that's still going on. And at this point, there's not very many of these women left of survivors from That's World War II. so screwed up. Which is so sad, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. In, their, like, in their lifetimes, all, all that they want is to hear an apology. Yeah. And they just, can't get it. They literally live their whole lives without healing. Yeah. And yeah. it's so infuriating that their whole entire lives, years and years after this happened, they still haven't gotten that. Right. Yeah. And it, it just shows the power of, of what it can do to like officially be believed, for this yeah, officially yeah. to be acknowledged, to receive an apology. Right. And like, it may, how hard is yeah. that? Yeah. And on the surface, it may not seem like a lot, but it's a big deal and it's mm -hmm. it's just sad. The estimates widely vary on how many comfort women there were. Really? They estimate, you know, just between at least 50,000 and 200,000 women. That's yes. the estimate. And there's so estimates many. that are much higher than that. I mean, how many women died oh without gosh. telling anybody? Yeah. How many women died without getting an apology? It's I mean, it's almost all of them. Yeah. I just can't believe the audacity of, in the movie, the Japanese guys who said that after she like showed what she did. Mm -hmm. Right. They'll like, just do anything to, right. to cover up the lie oh, to any extent. It's so I know. frustrating. It's just like, they're so like merciless. Like they just do not care. Mm -hmm. It's like they're just yeah. blinded. I thought it was a really like touching moment though when both of the like older ladies kind of looked at each other and mm -hmm. you know were there supporting each other mm -hmm. and I mean like one of them was Dutch and the other was Korean and probably hadn't met before but here they were like united and they were there for each other and I thought that that was a really special moment I mean yeah. tragic but like like they were the only moment. two in the room who really yeah who could really fully empathize with each, each other. other yeah it was really powerful yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean the fact that they can't really speak each other's languages mm -hmm. yeah they, they can't really embrace. communicate but they can still like understand each other that was awesome yeah what I really appreciate about it is it, it's building this whole time up to this mm -hmm. you don't even know it yeah even yeah. if you kind of know what's coming yeah you don't know how it's building up and then you you know you fully understand just like her character in, in such a better way yeah first glance you might think like oh this is complete you know this is unrelated but it's not it's it's telling her story mm -hmm. and, her and you, yeah and you kind of understand why it's hard for her to share this part of her life and why she does the things that she does it kept affecting her because mm -hmm. when her friend was like you know and every time anyone touches you you flinch yeah you know, and I picked up on that right when it happened oh, okay. in the very beginning oh. when she touched her and she yeah. flinched. I was yeah. like, oh. Because she got scared, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. That's a good oh. pick up. Yeah. And I mean, that's probably why she never married and had kids. I mean, that would be really hard. Yeah. You know, to be super traumatizing. Yeah. From the outside, maybe it appears like, well, yes, this awful thing happened to you, but maybe you need to move on with your life. But it shows how hard it is to move on right. with your life and why you can't. Obviously, there's, you know, this historical like atrocities that have happened from Japan, right? The people who committed them are probably not alive today. The problem with it is exactly what we see is that this is hindering people from moving on with their lives, getting the closure and everything that they need to move past this and live still the best life that they can. And so for Japan to be like, well, you just need to like forget about it. That's to it's totally insincere and it doesn't allow you to move on. And, and from, you know, the apologies that have come from Japan, they're generally like coerced apologies. And the way that I understand those, they'll be like, okay, like, we're sorry. Here's some, like a donation to this, but let's not talk about it anymore. Right? It's a very conditional apology. Yeah. 
if Not if you can call it an apology yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah, right. Japan gets so frustrated, like, oh, you're always talking about this. But yeah, because you still... It's still an issue. You still will unequivocally apologize and condemn it. You know, they mentioned the... Uh, President Abe, his administration was very much denialist to the point where a lot of, you know, this issue with sexual slavery was removed from Japanese history books. Oh my I mean, gosh. it's very, very serious censorship and very wow. serious. It would be such a disgrace, like she said, if they just all died off without ever yeah. receiving that. It's always like framed like that. It's like happens to women, comfort women. It's like still like we're talking about the women, yeah. like not like the like yeah. Japanese military rapists or you right. know, you know, and so That's it's so always true. like framed that way. From my perspective, I've never seen Japan really take responsibility for it. What we want is we want an apology and we want support for these women while they're still alive. And maybe this is what her friend wrote. This is important because we don't want it to happen again. Yeah. Oh, and, right. and you see that in history. It was a great movie. It was a hard movie to watch. It's a heavy one. It's, um, it's done really well. It, it was done super well. Job. Yeah. Great acting. Um, at yeah. some point you forget you're watching a movie. Right. Which yeah. is very yeah. impressive. It feels like you're just... Like you're there. Yeah, you're just there and you're getting this real life perspective. It felt very, very real. I forgot the, the actress's name for the grandma, but she was awesome. She was so, oh, she good. Was so good. Very well done. I think everyone should watch it. Yeah. 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 This it's is definitely <laughs> one of those movies that like everyone needs to yeah. be educated. educated. Okay. Yeah. If this movie was prevalent in Japan, like, you know, I think that would help yeah. a lot and help people yeah. understand, right? Not like, a, oh, you're terrible, Japan, look at you, but just like, you don't know, understand the right. history. I think mm -hmm. it was also touching that the men who were kind of yelling at mm -hmm. her, not the Japanese ones, but the other ones, they were really touched and they mm -hmm. did personally to her face apologize mm -hmm. and that at least in part probably helped her a lot. I love the title of the movie, I Can Speak, because I think it has a lot of meanings, right? One, mm -hmm. I can speak in English, right? Mm -hmm. But more importantly, like, I can speak and I can share my story, right? Yeah, like, and she can speak for others. Mm -hmm. Right, and the Korean title is exactly the same. It's, um, it's I can speak, like, in English. I think along with, like, the meaning of it, like, speaking for others, because she was not going to do this. Right. She did this literally on behalf of her mm -hmm. friend who saved her life which shows kind of like the courage that comes from the support of others. I think that's a huge thing in these types of issues, just not feeling alone, which is why that moment that they shared I think was so special because she felt alone her whole life, which is probably why she had a hard time sharing it. That was sad when she was gonna kill herself because it's like <sighs> she feels I so know. hopeless and so yeah. awful. Well, and it was such a terrible situation. I mean, right. who would want to live Right, yeah, and I'm that's really, kind of, you yeah, know, it's like this is day. all I can control. When she was like mad at her friend, because she's like, I just want something I can choose for myself. Right. Yeah. Then her friend was like, you know, how can I survive this yeah. without you? Mm -hmm. You know, I, and I think that's true. I think so many things are easier to get through if you have someone there with you. Yeah, you know? and like the little handkerchiefs they made, I know. that yeah. was really I sweet. It was. That was really cute. And they like kept it, you know, all those years after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like she would keep it in her purse. Yeah. So I just thought that was really sweet. Yeah, it was really sad too. If you imagine that Germany half apologized for the Holocaust or, you know, tried to downplay it, it creates so much more damage. And that's what it is with, with Japan right now is what every time they deny it, you're just compounding yeah. the problem. You're making it worse. People are like, oh, it's old history, but it, we wouldn't even think that about the Holocaust. Like, no one is right. like, like, the Holocaust is old history. Yeah. No one's like, stop talking about right, it. Right, right, yeah. right. This book is actually pretty cool. This got sent to me. It's called To the Flowers That Will Never Fade. Maybe I'll just put a screenshot of it up. But this was, like, this is actually one of the coolest things I've ever received because, like, you would never guess it, but the, the storytelling, the illustration, everything in this, it's in both Korean and in English. It's a story of, of a comfort woman. This is high school students who did this. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's cool. And so, um, so in here they have like, you know, they kind of talk about, you know, like who they are. Oh, and uh, and this is them, right? That's so which, cute. Which is so cool. Yeah. And so they contacted me at least a year ago now and they asked if they could send me some of these books. 
I just thought it was incredible. I mean, this is like a really high quality book and yeah, like, it, it looks so professional that when I got it, I was like, did I misread that email? A little right? bit like, published book. Yeah. That's so cool. Anyway, it's worth reading. I have some extra copies. So if yes, you want to take one. I would love to. Um, Thank you. But I was, I was really happy to get that. I just thought it was, it's sad and it's, it's hard to read, but um, it's very powerful too. That's so cool. Thanks so much for watching this with me. Yeah. That was, thanks for inviting me. I know. Thanks for showing yeah. us. This was too awesome. Us. I always wanted to do a review of it, and I wanted to do it with the right people. And so it was really nice to have you guys' insight. And hard movie to watch, and but important. A, but, but important. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's the same important and necessary. too. Yeah, and necessary. Yeah, necessary. I think it's a important. good mix, though, of like uh -huh. being yeah. a movie that's very like still well entertaining and like touching parts. You know. Yeah, it's like uplifting too. It like, very yeah. Much the ending is I mean, like nice. You know, yeah. she's like, I'm gonna go speak at another council. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And, She's like, I'm going to live until I'm 200 so I can keep talking about this. Yeah. And so I feel like it ends on a, on a nice note. It does. And, you know, it, it starts out with some really good comedy, some really mm -hmm. like good lightheartedness. Yeah. It's a movie I think that everybody would enjoy. Yeah. And so I think so. they just did an excellent job. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. We will see you guys next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>